Fadilna l-aħar nufsija mi għaj Kristian Buzutti l-law kela ngel il-program li għattixan darb għalissa fuq l-istazzon xejk naħġugum u għol biex titlu fuq il-website taħna li għa xejk mota.com kif għol t-staw t-ċek jaw il-Facebook page tal-istaz stazzjon. Sennet kela mis-sama Alex Oden li jitin sab għadeja. How are you Alex or Alexandra? I'm good, thank you. Thanks for coming for this interview. I'm really happy. Um, well, if uh, some people doesn't know you, um, in a few words, um, who is uh, Alex? Well, um, yeah, I'm, a, I'm a musician. At the moment I'm studying in the Netherlands. I'm studying jazz and pop. Um, I grew up in Germany for a good seven years of my life and then I moved back to Malta with my family. So. About a year ago, I, I moved abroad so I could pursue my studies as a musician. So then uh, in the future you will be uh, a music um, expert or professional and uh, would be my, your, would be your job uh, in the future, I think. Yes, I, I, I would like to become a professional musician and tour and give workshops and that kind of thing. Um, I've been playing for the past four years mainly, yeah, and um, I, I started out playing in a lot of small bars and cafes in Malta. Um, last year I released my first EP, it's called The Curious Child, yeah, yeah. and um, yeah, I, I guess I, I've been playing around Malta and then I wanted to try somewhere new, I wanted to continue performing, so I thought the only logical thing to do was to move abroad and see what would happen if I had to try overseas. <laughs> and I think you've, you've had a lot of gigs in the Netherlands as well. I've had quite a few so far. I mean, I haven't been there that long, but um, I've managed to get quite a couple of gigs in around the Netherlands. In fact, around not Netherlands. just in the city mm -hmm. where I'm at. So yeah, it's going pretty well. But would you prefer in Malta or or Netherlands to perform your uh, your uh, music? Hopefully both. <laughs> I both mean, eh? Yeah, I I want to continue. I mean, I come back for holidays and to visit the family. So whenever I come back, I try and perform as much as I can as well, because my roots are here. Um, I also organize workshops for children and teenagers. Um, at Teatro Salazian in Slema. In Slema, okay. Yes, with Luke Briffa, who's a jazz drummer and percussionist. So, yeah, we're, we're trying to broaden the horizons for youth in Malta as well at the same time because we know that it's kind of, there are limited opportunities here mm -hmm. for people who want to pursue music and pursue their studies as, say, jazz musicians, especially. So trying our best. <laughs> and you're helping a lot these youths um, to grow up in music. Yeah, it's just about being exposed to music and the people who can teach you more. It's being in the right environment to grow and learn. And uh, it's a nice experience um, living in abroad and of course performing in various uh, localities and, uh, and uh, cities uh, abroad. So if, if you see that, that crowd, uh, it's, uh, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. so. It's a completely different audience to Malta. I mean, anywhere you go, it's going to be different. So you learn quite a lot. Um, how to attract the attention of the crowd and um, make them listen more. That's, that's what it's all about, trying to get people to listen. And sometimes people just don't listen no matter what. But um, yeah, it's a challenge. And uh, even people can speak to you and uh, express their, their reactions about your music as well. Yeah, um, you get a lot of feedback, especially at the school. Um, where you have great tuition there and um, you meet teachers every day who are professionals. So they have 
trained ears and they've been in the business for a long time so they can really give you valuable feedback and push you in the right direction to grow. Um, we're gonna see, um, to watch uh, uh, one of your videos um, first uh, from, from the two that we have for this interview um, we've got as well uh, um, Dancing Along. Mm -hmm. Yes, that was filmed by Luca Mulestanio. He's a local film director and we recorded it around Malta over the course of a year so you get some nice shots of Malta and kind of the places I frequent with my friends and that kind of thing. Um, can you speak about your, your singer, the singer Dancing Alone? Yes, um, Dancing Alone was recorded for my debut AP, The Curious Child. Um, it was recorded about three years ago, I think, um, at a, a friend's flat. So, yeah. Um, the song, I, I wrote it, I started writing it when I was 15. I wrote the first part when 15. I was 15. So then, yeah, I, I couldn't continue it at that point. I don't know why. And then I just forgot about it for a while. And then a year later, I went back to it after I had kind of some, I guess, emotional troubles, breakup, that kind of thing. So I was trying to express myself and trying to channel these emotions into music and then I, I found the paper again with the lyrics and like hey I, I kind of I get it now I can see where this is going I could visualize it so I continued working on the song and then it just grew into what it is now which is dancing alone and now we're uh, gonna watch as well uh, the music video from Alex Oden dancing alone
Lura al program Low Kilenge, Lua Tagam Seguena, Ukol, the music video, Manant, Alex Odin, Dancing Alone. Um, it's a Thank nice uh, music video, well done. Thanks very much. Thanks, to Luca. <laughs> Luca helped you a lot. Um, yeah, he, he filmed the whole thing. He filmed and a lot, yeah. yeah. And, cut and followed me around the island to film it, so. Well, um, for every band and uh, singer, the, the main problem, I think, are the finance. For, uh, for the budget um, uh, to create a music video, um, to produce, to produce an album uh, yeah, and yeah, then yeah. print the album. Print the album. Wow, it, it is quite expensive to do all of that. But luckily, with the internet, you can um, you can just put up your music online and mm. then have a download code or something which people can pay for or, or use iTunes and Spotify. So there are a whole lot of different. Um, platforms you can put your music on these days, so that's pretty good. Um, but yeah, luckily, um, in my case, when I released uh, my EP last year at Teatro Salesian, I managed to get funding from the Malta Arts Fund, oh, okay. luckily, okay. so I could finish the album after I had financed it by myself. And then I could launch it and print about 200 copies, which are all gone now. So I have to print some more, actually. And um, yeah, so I, I got quite lucky with that. So, yeah. Well, while uh, speaking um, during the interview, we're going to uh, um, listen as well, Table Before the One. Mm -hmm. um, it's a nice song as well. Can you speak about this, this song? Table for One is, a, is one of the more um, up-tempo songs, kind of more upbeat, I guess. <laughs> It, I wrote it when I was 16 years old. Oh, it's such a long time ago. Um, yeah, it's more of a bluesy, jazzy influence song. So it kind of it applies to more to what I'm doing now with my studies because I'm studying jazz. So I could see that influence early on. So um, the album has quite a range of different influences and I like that for my first release it, it can, um, it shows this, that I'm quite versatile. Yeah, in fact I was going to ask you, to be a, a versatile person it's a very important thing to even the, the, the music scene um, sometimes. Um, can change even the, the the style of the music can change uh, from time to time. So you'll have to um, change your uh, your influences sometimes. Yeah, it, that that happens naturally. It's not mm -hmm. something yeah, yeah, yeah. you do consciously. You just become exposed to new sounds and you say, "Hey, I like that. I like yeah, that. Yeah, I, yeah. I could I could use that." And then when you're actually writing a song, you don't even kind of consciously think, okay, I'm going to write like this, I want to write in this style. It just happens, it flows out of you because you've been exposed to this music and you're inspired by it. So naturally it's going to come out at some point. <laughs> what do you think about the, the local music? Um, about uh, an opinion uh, about uh, op um, local music? The local scene. Yeah, the local scene. I think it's I think it's very diverse and there's a lot of potential and from what I've seen there are a lot of people who want to grow they want to learn more but they don't always have the right facilities or mm. the right people to show them the way I think yeah it's it's a shame I mean I want I want to see musicians um, really be able to challenge themselves and grow <laughs> so it can be a bit frustrating sometimes but I have hope <laughs> that things can change. <laughs> yeah, um, you spoke about your EP, mm -hmm. um, can you speak about uh, this EP, um, about uh, your tracks there and I think uh, you've written all the songs for this EP yourself. Yes, I, I wrote all five songs, um, but 
I had um, a local guitarist, Jimmy Bart Bartolo, play on the tracks as well. And it was produced by Mark McRae, who is a producer and sound engineer from the UK. And he used to fly over to Malta for recording sessions, while at the same time he recorded my album and recorded the album of some friends of mine, Martin McNeil and the Dissidents, which I also formed a part of. So I was mm -hmm. doing backing vocals for this Americana band and then recording my own music as well. So it was a very exciting time. It was um, a lot at one go and it was really, really fun to be with friends and recording together and just making music you love. And uh, it's a nice experience to work with uh, other uh, persons dedicated for, for uh, local music as well, mm -hmm. for music uh, for a local uh, scene. So it's a nice experience to meet these uh, people as well. It's inspiring. You become aware of the possibilities. Well, okay. we're gonna watch another music video. Can you speak about it as well? Yes. Um, this next video is called um, Just Like You. Yeah. It's off the album as well. And it was filmed by Javier Negrera. He's a French filmmaker. And we recorded it around Malta again, kind of just getting environmental shots and landscape shots of some of the most beautiful places, I think, in Malta, so in the countryside. And then we also did a, a roof party in St. Julian, so we had some friends over and we had nice sparkly lights everywhere and I saw we it just played did. some music. Yeah, so it was really fun. I, I wrote it for my grandparents. <laughs> oh, it's dedicated so to your grandparents? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Oh, okay, so we're going to watch uh, Just Like You. can do this
Just Like You by Alex Oden. So uh, just in a few words, um, your, your plans uh, this summer? This summer, um, write more music. I'll be back for a couple of months from my studies, so I'll take a bit of a break and gear up to record a new album next year, hopefully, if all goes well. <laughs> so uh, it's gonna be uh, a tough uh, thing to uh, to launch another album as well so yes so there's a lot to think about but my my main concern of course is the writing of the yeah, album yeah 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 so i need to kind of find my bubble again so i can really write freely so uh, thanks uh, alex for uh, coming for this interview um, can you speak about your your social networks and your website as well so you can find me on facebook um, just look up Alex Olden and I also have my album available um, on Bandcamp so just look up alexolden.bandcamp.com and you can of course find my videos on YouTube as well so hope to hear from you thank you very much and uh, wish you very luck for your uh, music career and your plans as well thank you very okay, much thank you very much Back to me now, the interview that we had in the last few years, Mia Christian Buzotil, Naja and Kumakum is Sajuma Dihla Bakhtar interviews with the Akhtar artists. The local artists are the ones who 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 are the ones who